FTD. Yes. Do you know, if you had room service here and you get an orchid on your tray? I didn't get an orchid on my tray. Oh, you didn't. Oh, you, okay. Well, Michelle, I have never met you before, but uh, I've been looking forward to it because I've been following your career through uh, at least the last four or five years. Um, this movie, Lady Hawk, I th think is a really extraordinary film. And you have such an extraordinary challenge as an actress because uh, having the, at least the thought process of, of turning from the hawk into the beautiful maiden. So I wonder, when you and Dick Donner started talking <coughs> about this role, what, what did you both decide that you would or wouldn't do with it? Well, I think that um, we both agreed on um, that she was strong and that we wanted to, originally she was a very um, kind of ethereal character and we wanted to um, realistically bring what this woman would do to survive. She would disguise herself to, to, to try to show in, in the little amount of time that there is um, how she does survive, the kinds of things she has to do, how she eats. And um, I'm sorry, I lost my concentration. That's all right. That's okay because we we'll, we edit anyway. Um, let me uh, let me just get this or try to get this idea across. In your thought process, did you did you just forget about the hawk, or did you have to sometimes think about that? Um, there were a few things that I tried to incorporate the alertiveness, the, the way she um, stood, um, the way she kept her head. Um, and, and originally we had a haircut that was very feathery. It was real interesting, but it was too on the nose. So I think the shortness of the hair and the color of the hair is very reminiscent of a bird. But um, once I incorporated that into the character, it wasn't it wasn't constantly reminding myself about being a bird. It just was the character. Being the maiden, in other words. Yeah? Being the maiden, um, I guess, yeah. You'd call it a maiden. Call her a maiden. Okay. You had to work some with the animals. Mm -hmm. What was that like for you? Were you frightened at all? I was initially frightened of the wolves. Um, but in working with the trainers, I trusted them so much, and I knew that they would never put me in a situation that, that was real dangerous. And um, so the difficult thing was keeping your concentration and while they were trying to get the animals to do what they were supposed to do. That was difficult for me as an actress, as opposed to, you know, just kind of listening to what's going on in the scene. You had to <laughs> keep doing it over for the animal. You may have been brilliant in the last take, but uh, the animal didn't do the right thing. So you would have more takes than normal, I guess. Well, yeah, and um, also um, just knowing the whole time, or feeling anyway, the whole time that, that, that um, they were going to use the take where the animal did the right thing as opposed to when you were your best. So there was this pressure of always having to be on all the time. This movie has some of the most beautiful locations. I just really sat there just enthralled mm -hmm. with the beauty of this film. But I had to kind of in the back of my mind think, this had to be a tough movie to make. It was tough. I think it was tough on everybody. It was beautiful, though. I've never been one to be real sentimental about sunsets and things like that. But I saw some sunsets that were so extraordinary. It's like different air there. And, uh, but it was hard. We were in a lot of little towns. Um, no hot water, no heat, no, you know. Um, I've always heard about lumpy mattresses. Well, but I never really slept on one. I slept on some mattresses like you wouldn't believe. You know, the ones where you roll to the center because they dip in. <laughs> so it was, uh, you know, bittersweet, as they say. All kinds of weather. Yeah, it was cold. It was hot when I first got there. 
Um, yeah, all kinds of weather. And did you ever say to yourself, Michelle, why did you want to be an actress? I say that to myself all the time at certain points. You Do know. you? Yeah, sure. I. There are times when I think that it's so amazing that I get paid to do something that I love to do so much. And there are times when I say to myself, what are you, masochistic? This is, this, why are you doing this? Um, I go from one extreme to the other. And then you just can't wait for that next picture to come, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to ask you one question about Scarface. Uh, because of the, all the controversy and everything about the film, Michelle, do you have any regrets about doing that? Absolutely not. I'm very proud of that movie. Were you uh, upset about the controversy and especially the rating bit? I was disturbed a little bit. I wasn't surprised. Um, it's, it's a tough movie. It's a tough subject. It's a brutal subject. And the film is brutal. It's exactly what it was supposed to be. And I think a lot of people um, didn't quite know how to deal with a lot of the feelings that the film brought on. It was very violent, and it robbed people of, of being sympathetically emotional to these people. Working with Pacino, a good trip? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You think he is, you know, so many people say he's the, maybe the best actor in America today. Do you think so? Um, it's hard. I mean, he is by far one of the best. But I'm not sure you can say there is a best. I'll see Marlon Brando and I'll say, that's it. He's the most brilliant actor ever and that will ever be. And then I'll see Al in something and I'll say, nobody beats him. And then I'll see, you know, Jack Nicholson in something, and um, I'm a fan of all of theirs. A lot depends on the role, of course. Well, Michelle, it's been fun talking with you here in Los Angeles, and I hope that Lady Hawk is a big success for all of you, and I thoroughly enjoyed your performance. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Come to Dallas and see us sometime. Okay. Nice interview. Don't worry about that first part because we okay. edit that out. So Sorry, no problem. No, I understand. <laughs> you I mean, I really like okay. to forget where uh, I yes. am. Yes, uh -huh. so you want me to get. You rolling? Okay. Michelle, did you constantly think about the fact that uh, the girl is coming through the process of a hawk? Did you at any time ever try to act like a hawk when you were playing the girl? This movie has some of the most extraordinary locations, but I just get the idea that they were probably difficult as well. What was difficult about the locations? How did all these different locations affect you? Did you have all kinds of weather? Did you sometimes say, Michelle, why do you want to be an actress? Do you have any regrets at all about doing Scarface? Working with Pacino a good trip? Do you think Pacino is maybe one of the best actors in America? Some people say that Al Pacino is the best actor in America. Do you think so? How was it working with the animals? Okay, I'll just give you reactions now.
Okay, thank you.